What's up, HRV? I'm Camila Blanco. And I'm Sydney Stanley. Welcome to the 211th episode of What's Up, our weekly show about what's going on at the high school. Hey, Sydney, do you want to go to the spa this weekend? No, I'd rather go to the mud baths in Iceland. Well, lucky for you, Mr. Wyseth is taking a group of students to Iceland next summer. Charlie and Anthony talked to him about the upcoming trip. Uh, the Iceland trip is the first week of August in the year 2024, so one year from this August, and it's a seven-day trip. And these will the students partake? Um, the focus of the trip really is uh, looking at all the glaciers and geysers. It's called Glaciers and Geysers. And we'll be going to the Blue Lagoon. We'll be going to Black Sands Beach. We'll be climbing on a glacier with uh, crampons and an ice axe and seeing the Icelandic horses. And we tour a geothermal power plant because much of Iceland's power comes from uh, geothermal power. Uh, where will students be housed? Um, in a hotel, yeah. Uh, are there locks on the doors? There are locks on the doors, yes. Uh, that's good. Still join? Yeah, students can still join. You can join all the way up until uh, two or three months before the trip, I think. Uh, I will take up to 20. There are currently nine students registered to go. Um, eight girls and one boy. So we need more boys. The, the cost of the trip is a little steep. It's 4,500. Yeah, it covers your meals, except for lunch. You gotta buy your own lunch. And it covers the cost of all the tours and the tour guide and everything that we do there, basically. You don't have to pay for anything. Non-students are going? Me. Just you? Yeah. Alright. Have you done a trip like this with... I have taken students uh, to Hawaii before. Um, I've taken them there twice. Elves in Iceland. You mean the hold the folk. They uh, are the hidden people. And um, they can make themselves known if they want to. And you can also make contracts with them to murder people. There's a drinking age in Iceland? Yeah. Oh, no. You know. The capital of Iceland. Ra Rajavak. I, I don't know. Only native animal in Iceland. The polar squirrel. Oh, man. Anything to do with ice. Like, uh, you know, hockey. Um, what's the game where you shove it with the broom? The shuffle something. Um, and snowball fights. There are no famous people from Iceland. Yeah. It's, yeah. All right, that's it. <laughs> wow, that looks amazing. I definitely want to go. Me too. I wonder if they have tennis in Iceland. I don't know, but we definitely have tennis at HRV. We plan to profile every spring sports team soon. This week, we talked to some of the boys' tennis players. I've been playing tennis since like fall of 2022. Um, I guess it's pretty friendly and welcoming and just a good experience with your teammates just having a high school sport experience. Uh, my least favorite part about the tennis culture is that it's really quiet. I think tennis should be a loud and fun and energetic sport. This season I'm really looking forward to going to districts and hopefully winning our league. Um, just go ahead and try it. It's a really fun sport. It may not seem super fun or easy at first, but it's really fun once you get into it. Hey Camila, remember when you tripped on a packet of ketchup in the lunchroom? Yeah, that was probably one of my most embarrassing moments. Do you remember any of your most embarrassing moments, Sydney? Yeah, probably when I broke my wrist from falling off a bike. Ouch! Our question of the week crew asked HRV students what their most embarrassing moments were. My name's Aiden. So we were... We were on the bus going to a soccer game, and I guess I actually kissed one of the homies. My most embarrassing moment is when I dropped red jelly all over my light jeans. Yo soy Angel y no conozco la vergüenza. Cha cha cha! Luis, and my most embarrassing mo moment is uh, probably falling down the stairs. Uh, my name is Noah. My name is Vigo. And my most embarrassing moment is once I was at my house and we were having a sleepover with this kid named Jose and he pulled back the shower curtain while I was taking a shower. And uh, Yeah. My name is Vigo. One time I was in class, I farted and I tried to cough to cover it and it didn't work. Everybody heard it. 
My most embarrassing moment was when I was in Chicago and uh, almost made myself drown in a three-foot pool <laughs> in front of my whole family. That's our show for the week. Thanks for watching. We'll leave you with some spring sport photos that Ronan took. We know we didn't get every sport, but we will. Come back next week and we'll tell you what's, what's up. up. Oh my Let's goodness. Let's go. <laughs>